Did you find the heating pad? Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Who is she? I don't know. Where did she come from? Oh, no, I don't. Hi. Hi? That's all you're going to say is hi? How about goodbye? <laughs> no, you're not. You'd rather I stay. I'd rather see what you got in the bag. It's personal belongings. Yeah, but whose? <laughs> but she got all our silver in. We don't have any silver. <laughs> well, you get a lot of money for stainless steel these days. How did you get out of here? Yeah, yeah, you know, I checked every lock on every door personally. You left the window open. <laughs> you left the window open last night? He leaves it open every night. Every night? How many nights have you been up here? Two weeks. You mean you've been sleeping here for the last two weeks? And you thought we had mice. <laughs> What's your name? Jenny. Jenny Ballinger. Oh, hi. hi. I'm Helen Roper. I know. You know? Oh, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I guess you would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's been up here casing the whole neighborhood. And this is my husband, Kojak. <laughs> you forget I'm the one who found her. Only because I sent you up here to find the heating pad for my neck. What's wrong with your neck? Oh, I don't know. It's a pinched nerve or something. Really? Oh. Sit down. Here, hold this. <laughs> now, you just relax. Let's try a little acupressure here. Oh! <laughs> that's it, right there. I know. Oh. Now, what I want to know is, what is a nice girl like you doing sleeping on our floor? Because I didn't have a place of my own anymore. Why? I wouldn't let my landlord fix my bathtub. Why not? I was in it at the time. <laughs> so he evicted me. That's terrible. Uh, it's not so bad. Except then I couldn't find a place I could afford. Until you found our open window. Right. So when I finished my paper route, I parked my car around the corner and I climbed up your trellis, and here I am. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're our paper boy? Good Lord, his eyes are going, too. <laughs> You're the one who's been leaving all those thank-you notes? Oh, and all those lovely roses. Ooh! What's the matter? The pain. It's all gone. What'd you do to her? It's very simple. Pressure applied to certain parts in the body wakes up the muscles, puts new life into the system. Do you have time to work on my husband? <laughs> I'd like to, but I got classes. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, do you go to school? Yes, art school. Oh, Stanley! Hey, what are you doing? I want to see if there's anything in here that belongs to me. <laughs> I don't think it's your size. I better be going. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Where are you going to stay? Don't worry about it. No, wait. I will worry unless I know you have a place to stay. So, uh, why don't you just stay here tonight? Have you gone nuts? Uh, look, Jenny, the bathroom is the second door on the right. Now, would you be a good girl and go down there and freshen up while I take care of Stanley Steamer here? Thanks. Look, I made out a list. I want you to go to the market. I'm going to make a nice brunch for Jenny. It's 11 o'clock. Why isn't she up and out of here? She didn't finish work till 5.30 in the morning. How do you know that? I heard her come in the door. 
She picked the lock? No, silly. I gave her a key. You gave her a key? I think when she fixed your net, you loosened your head. <laughs> I mean, give a girl like that a key is like wrapping up all your jewels and handing them to her for Christmas. If I wanted to wrap up all my jewels, I wouldn't be able to find a piece of paper small enough. That's what's side. Hi, guys. What a beautiful day. Good morning, Jenny. <laughs> I think I'm going to the market. See you later. Oh, and don't worry about the key. I only had copies made for a few of my best friends. <laughs> Jenny, do your parents know how you're living? Mrs. Roper, I've been on my own now for three years, and I like it that way. And I guess they do, too. They do? Sure. I mean, they got more important things on their mind. Like my dad. He's up north someplace, trying to find himself. <laughs> and your mother? Oh, I haven't seen her in years. One day she baked a tray of cookies and just took off. Why? I don't know. Cookies weren't that bad. <laughs> It must have been a blow when she left like that, be all alone. Not really. She makes friends easily. <laughs> hmm. You want the last donut? No. Hmm. Good. So, um, you never had any kids? No. Me neither. <laughs> Jenny. I mean, I don't think I'd want any either. Oh, oh. Well, sometimes I think it would have been nice. Nah, kids can be a pain. Take me, for instance. Yeah, you, what about you? Oh, well, I'm a pain. I mean, I'm always yelling about being independent and on my own and everything. But then I get mad because there's no one around to give me a hug when I'm really feeling low. Well, everybody needs a hug now and then. Nah, I'm a nerd. A nerd? <laughs> What's a nerd? You don't know what a... How old are you, anyway? Old enough to be your mother. <laughs> uh, of course I was a child bride. I think it's a valve. 300 bucks if it's a sin. Can I take a look at it? You, what are you gonna do? Tie it together with your suspenders? <laughs> uh, Joey look at it tomorrow. Maybe he could do something. Yeah. He can haul it away to the nearest dump. Hey, they don't make it worse. That's impossible, Stanley. <laughs> hey, be careful, you'll dent You want to try it now? Are you kidding? It's going to take more than a little puttering around with your nail file. What's the carburetor? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I was going to look at that next. Come on, Ellen. No, I'll ride home with Jenny. Uh, maybe I'd go along with Mr. Roper. How's it take off now? Well, aren't you gonna come back and have some brunch? What about Mr. Roper? He can have some, too. <laughs> ah, young lady, I think you should hear this, too. Good Lord. Lord, she's wearing suspenders. <laughs> what do you got in mind, Rod? I think you should bear in mind that the, uh, the tenants of Royal Dale townhouses are reputable people. Well, Stanley and I are... are exceptions. <laughs> are, are, are you going to send her packing or not? That's for me to decide and you to find out. But she's riffraff. Don't you dare... St uh, uh, how could you talk that way in front of... Jenny? Jenny? Oh, her bag was right there. Jenny? Oh, Stanley, she's gone. And good riddance. Now look what you've done. You made her feel unwanted, and now she's gone. Me? I, I wanted her to stay. Oh, no, you did not. Yeah, Brooks just helped me decide. I mean, there's a lot of great things that Jenny did. She, she fixed your neck, fixed my car. She ruined Brooks' rose bush. You really wanted her to stay? Cross my heart. I was going to tell her tonight she can stay as long as she wants. I accept. Thank you. What? <laughs> oh, on my neck. Toothbrush first. <laughs> oh, my neck. 
You see, Jenny? We need you. Well, I wouldn't want to walk out on one of my patients. Oh. Sit down, Mr. Roper. Oh. Oh. No! What? Oh. David, why, why aren't you playing uh, with your friends? Oh, this is more fun. <laughs> oh. Jenny's teaching me the facts of life. Oh, re <laughs> I warned Roper I knew this would happen. Mr. Brooks, I think... I, 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 I know what you think. Now, David, I want you to tell me exactly what, what nonsense she told you. You should always tell the truth, never hurt anyone, and love your neighbor. Oh. Come on. Come on, Mr. Brooks. Oh, no, no, come I, uh... Come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the Ropers was videotaped in front of a studio audience.